I'm hoping that we can find a responsible way to pay for the maintenance backlog of our national parks. Our national parks are an important source of pride for our country. They're known internationally. We had the first national park in the world with Yellowstone Park. Unfortunately, our parks are in the midst of a rising crisis that's been building over many years. They're in desperate need of repair and maintenance, and fixing them will require billions of dollars. This week, the Senate is working on legislation to address this backlog, and I believe it's vital that we address this issue both responsibly and permanently. This will help generations to fix problems in our parks without having to put the cost on the nation's credit card. Unfortunately, the Great American Outdoors Act, as written, represents only a one-time fix and is neither responsible nor permanent. Instead, the bill adds over $17 billion to our national debt. Moreover, the measure includes a permanent reauthorization of the Land and Water Conservation Fund program, which will add even more future maintenance to our already backlogged systems without being paid for. That's why for the past several years, I've worked on a fix. I've filed an amendment to this bill that addresses the maintenance issues responsibly and permanently without adding to our debt. Let me repeat that. My amendment is completely offset and provides a permanent solution. It has been ignored so far through this process. The way that my amendment works is by asking our foreign visitors, who as the numbers show are increasingly enjoying our parks, to pay $16 or $25 more when they enter the country as part of their visa fee. A part of it, not big increase compared to that. According to a study by the U.S. Travel Association, nearly 40% of the people who come to the U.S. from abroad are visiting one of our national parks or more. That's over 14 million people who come from abroad and visit our national parks. We also ask park visitors to assist with addressing the backlog. No one likes to pay more for things, especially during times like these, but to maintain these national treasures for future generations, we either borrow money and put it on the national credit card, or we take some modest steps to address the issue responsibly. Kind of a pay-as-you-go. My amendment only raises entrance fees by $5 and annual passes by $20. So bringing a vehicle into the park would still be cheaper than taking a family of four to a movie or visiting an amusement park for a day. We need to fix our national parks. The question is, will we pay as it's used or will we force our kids and grandkids to pay for something they maybe never got to enjoy? Fixing this bill will help ensure we no longer have to put our park's current obligations on the backs of future generations. I know the amount at stake here won't end our fiscal crisis. But if we can't do something modest to start to address our spending addiction, then we're in greater trouble than I ever thought.